Hey everyone, and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. I've been playing a lot of games on my Oculus Quest VR headset, and one of my recent favorites is a rhythm shooter game called Pistol Whip. It's an on-rail shooter where you have to defeat enemies to the beat of the music. It's a lot of fun, and it really makes you feel like you're in a John Wick's movie. But there is something missing. The Oculus Touch controllers are great, but I think they can be improved with a little 3D printing. I came across this awesome model from Caleb F. Wood, which is a remix of the Oculus Quest pistol design by Amorin. It's a 3D printable mod for turning your Oculus Touch controllers into a pistol. When I first saw this, I knew I had to print a set, so I downloaded the files from Thingiverse and opened it up in Cura to prepare it for 3D printing. The design was great, but it definitely needed supports. After enabling supports, I noticed Kira was trying to put some supports on areas of the barrel where it really didn't need it, so I used the support blocker feature from Kira to mark a few of the areas as not needing supports. Other than that, we can slice it and send it over to the 3D printer. I used my TiVo Tornado to 3D print the parts. It was an easy print using black PLA from Hatchbox for the filament. Each set took about 8 hours in total to print. This model isn't going to be under much stress. It just has to be strong enough to survive being swung around and maybe hitting the occasional wall or people that jump into the play area. So for the settings, I used three perimeters at 0.2mm layer height with a 10% gyroid infill. That should be plenty for my purposes. After printing, we can start the finishing process. The supports were mostly easy enough to remove, just take a pair of pliers and peel it off. However, the supports at the bottom of the barrel gave me some trouble, as they didn't come off as cleanly as I'd hoped, and I accidentally damaged the outer wall of the barrels on one of them. After a little bit of work though, I was happy with the support removal overall. Next was the most tedious part, sanding. The mod is printed in two halves to make it easy for you to insert the controller, and they fit together using an interference fit on this trapezoid pillar. The tolerance on this fit is important. It needs to be tight enough to hold the pieces together, but loose enough to be able to be removed after you are done playing. This means taking some sandpaper and sanding away, checking the fit as you go. After 20 or so minutes of sanding though, we have a nice and proper fit. So it's time to take care of any of the remaining strings and clean up the surfaces where the parts touch the supports. A hot air gun makes quick work of it. It heats up the plastic just enough for any of the stringiness to melt. You can also carefully use your fingers to smooth any of the rough areas, which is important for a comfortable grip on the controller. And here's the final product. The controllers easily slip into the grip, and the barrel is pressed on to clamp onto the controller. It looks really neat and provides a good heft to the controller, which feels way more realistic. And of course, even though it's way too late at night after I finished them, I just had to try it out. So excuse my late night VR hair, we have a world to save. Thank you all for joining me on this fun little project. If you have an Oculus Quest, I have the link to Thingiverse in the description if you want to print one for yourself. And if you like these type of videos and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon to be alerted for future projects. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.